Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, DEI. It's spreading all throughout the entertainment industry. And even if you don't think it's coming for your favorite property, unfortunately, you would be wrong. Prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. It is a disease. And like any disease, if you do not deal with the disease early on and you allow it to spread throughout the body, it will ultimately kill the body. And that is what it's doing to all different properties within the entertainment industry. And it will spread even beyond the entertainment industry. And it has in a lot of ways. But specific to these videos, we are talking about the entertainment industry. And one company that a lot of people have had faith in that this would not affect is Nintendo. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, even Nintendo is being affected by this. Pokemon go to the polls. We had reports uh, about a month ago that the Pokemon company doubles down on wokeness with job listing for director of diversity, equity, inclusion, and social responsibility. <laughs> Why would you have a fake job like this if you were not going down the ESG rabbit hole, the DEI rabbit hole, the woke rabbit hole? Put another gay diverse woman in it, make it more fucking lame! Of course this is what they are doing. Nintendo is not immune to this, unfortunately. And I say that as a fan of Nintendo, it sucks. But the reality of it is, is this is where we are. I'm gonna throw up. No, kid, I need your help. I'm gonna throw up. Now we have this post right here from Pokemon Go over on Twitter. And it says, trainers, your avatar can now look even more like you. We're excited to announce that the new avatar customization options are now live in Pokemon Go. Why? Why? What? And if you look at this image right here, you're seeing a lot of backlash. People are looking at this going, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, hell no. And if you go to the replies, they're absolutely fantastic. You have Madam Savvy here who says, who suggested this change and why to the anatomy? Why were the small indents on the women's hips adjusted at all? Why not add more variation options in clothing and ha hairstyles instead? I'd like to ask about a partnership as well that I discovered, an activist group who lists you as a client. Client. I'd like to know if they had any hand in this. And there is a Sweet Baby Inc. esque type of company that Pokemon Go has been involved in. Wow! Wow! Here's Grums who says, Who's behind the Pokemon Go app gender erasure? Turns out the makers of Pokemon Go consulted with a Sweet Baby Inc. style consultancy firm, GamerX. Did this lead to the changes? These firms need to go. And these are some of the consulting and training uh, practices that GamerX has on their site. <laughs> Gay! Now here you have Gamer X, and this is on their website, and it says consulting and training. Gamer X is proud to offer consulting and training services to the games industry for a modern gaming audience. As part of our mission to support and celebrate LGBTQIA plus people and culture in games, we offer a selection of L oh my god, they're just saying it again. We offer a selection of alphabet people centered training curricula as well as customized solutions designed to advance diversity, equity, visibility, and inclusion in gaming. Peter, I need you to hold my ears. <laughs> <laughs> We serve individuals and businesses working on the video game and tabletop industries, including independent game developers, game studios of all sizes, publishers, media outlets, and more. And it just kind of goes through all of their bullshit that they offer about their consultations. Consultations, which essentially just means, hey, you need to do everything that we say or we're going to call you a racist and a sexist, yada, yada, yada. Everything is sexist. Everything is racist. Everything is homophobic. And you have to point it all out. Um, right here again, Grum says the Pokemon avatar changes are pissing off all real women who got their trainers destroyed by unnecessary DEI changes. This wasn't to appeal to women. It already appealed to women. DEI and ESG initiatives ruin games and will cost Pokemon Go app millions. No butts, no weight, no hips, and here's a Chad jaw. So as you can see some of these images, these are terrible. These look awful, and it's only going to get worse from here. They're going to destroy everything that they possibly can. 
We have this tweet right here from Learning the Law, and it this was back in March, and it says these are some 2024 changes, and it talks about all of the changes that they were going to be making. And if you look at the difference in these avatars, this speaks volumes right here. This speaks volumes as to what they were going for. Holy shit, this looks absolutely terrible. Verbal Riot here has a great, great comment. And he was talking about Stellar Blade, but he was also making a bigger point about video games in general. Let's listen to this clip really quick. What they're trying to do, and if you notice with these ugly characters, is these characters look almost mannish. It's a man, baby. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Again, this could be just my conspiracy theory. They're trying to blur the lines between man and woman. See, it's all part of the programming. Now, when I say programming, I'm not talking about the actual programming it takes to make a video game. Nah, I'm talking about social programming, right? Because who plays video games more? The target demographic is youngins kids and as you can see that goes into their entire goal as to what they are doing and why they are doing stuff like this gamers are sick and tired of this shit general people are tired of this shit average moviegoers have been rejecting this no one likes this stuff and they are going to continue to call this out are you retarded but how much impact will it have time will tell but i do feel like going after the gaming industry now they've been doing this for a while in a very subtle way but it really has taken the next level step in the last year and they have been getting more backlash than any other industry that they have tried to ruin so the gaming industry is standing up against this bullshit so time will tell if it's going to have any real impact you hold the door i'll go get help. what but i appreciate you guys checking out this video i thank you for this video and i hope that you continue to support us over here on Geeks and Gamers so we can continue to expose this bullshit. We are sick and tired of this as gamers, as nerds, as geeks, and it's affecting every aspect of the entertainment industry, and that is the sad reality of the situation. Uh, excuse me. I believe I asked you to put a chick in this and make her gay. If you want to go support us, you can go over to Meta PCs. And if you're interested in getting yourself a PC, you can use the promo code 199 and it will give you a discount. And it will also give us a little bit of a kickback. And if you go over to 221B Tactical, if you use the promo code 199, you get 10% off of anything on the website and they give us a really good kickback over there. So 221B Tactical, promo code 199, Meta PCs, promo code 199. Thank you guys very much for checking out this video. We hope you have a great day and we will talk to you later.